Hey guys, welcome back. So this video is a little bit different. About a year ago, I put out a video of the fractal burning, the Lichtenberg method of wood burning, and just showed how cool it looked. It wasn't an instructional video or anything. Recently, another YouTuber has started a witch hunt against these kinds of videos. Can this be dangerous? Absolutely. Should you try this at home? Probably not. But I've recently received a bunch of hate comments on that video. So I thought, in true defiant fashion, I would do another video. Again, this is not to tell you to go do this. If you are uncomfortable with electricity, don't mess with electricity. I'm not gonna tell you to go change your breaker if you don't know how to do that, but there are instructional videos on that. So don't do this. Just don't do it. That's all I'm gonna say, but I am gonna show you how I did it, why what I did is safe, and the precautions that I took to hopefully mitigate some of these comments that are coming my way about how much danger I'm putting myself in and how I'm setting a bad example for others. So let's get right to it. This is my setup. This is a very simple setup. This is a neon light transformer. This is not a car battery. This is not a microwave transformer. It's 10 kilovolts of electricity, 30 milliamps, and it is dangerous. So we have two precautions in place. We have our primary power here. This is not plugged in currently. And then we have our foot switch. When this is depressed, nothing's gonna happen if that's off. If that's on and plugged in and this is not depressed, there is no electricity running to the unit. The unit is also grounded. Okay, now I have it plugged in. I'm gonna hit the first switch to the on position. Still no electricity, nothing running. This is not hot, this is not live. When I hit the foot switch, that's when it's gonna go live. You can see the distance. I am away. There is no way I can reach out and touch that thing. No way I can bump something, have it tip over, or I'm going to catch it out of reaction. This is not a handheld device where you move the probes with your hands while there's electricity running. This is how people die. This is not what I'm doing. So I'm going to hit the button with my foot way over here. And there it goes. There is no possible way for me to get electrocuted. Standing here, I'm almost four feet away from this. That's not how electricity works. It's not gonna just jump over and get me. I've let go of the foot switch. I've turned it off at the secondary switch. I'm gonna move the probes. One at a time. And I'm gonna hit it again. Oh, did you see that? I hit it again with my foot. Nothing happened because I didn't switch the main switch on. Switching the main switch on, no power to it. Hit it with my foot. There it goes. Capiche? Good. Now people are getting mad at me because I make this look cool. It is cool. It's exciting. It makes a neat pattern. There are a lot of cool things in the world that you shouldn't do if you don't know what you're doing. And don't do it. I'm still holding the foot switch down, allowing that to get a deeper burn. And when I take my foot off, you see the electricity stops. I come down and I hit the secondary switch just as a safety precaution. And then I can move the probes. One last time, just turn the main switch on gonna hit the foot switch from four feet away and there it goes this is the only way this will turn on and run this is the only way electricity is running through this unit you'll also notice I'm grabbing one probe at a time even though this is shut off in two different places when I'm grabbing it there is no electricity running to it and I am still taking that extra precaution to grab one probe at a time Electricity will take the path of least resistance. Do not become the path of least resistance. You will die. Okay, all of that being said, what I am doing is not a danger to myself because of the knowledge I have and the precautions I'm taking. If you are not willing to take those precautions and you do not have the knowledge, don't do it. Just don't do it. So now that I've shown my setup and my safety precautions, 
Hopefully, the Karens don't see this as a promotion of the hobby, but I did appreciate all the views you gave me on that one video. I've said it like 10 times in this video, don't do this at home, it's dangerous. I'm not promoting doing this, I'm not encouraging people to do this. I'm showing you my setup and why I am safe. So thanks for watching guys. I hope nobody gets too upset about this video. And please be smart. Both in the comments and in real life. Please be smart. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.